Hello my Nakamotachi, this is Joy Girl, and today we're going to look at changes that were made from a chapter's initial release to when they were released in their respective volumes. What we mean by this is that at times there have been cases where there have been changes in the manga due to minor mistakes or simply Oda changing his mind, which have been revised by the time the chapter was released in volume form. And the point of this video isn't to critique or point out errors that have been made in One Piece solely for the purpose of proving that even someone as detailed and dedicated as Oda makes mistakes, because some of these examples don't even seem to be mistakes and rather just changes in decisions or it's actually proof of Oda's amazing attention and commitment to detail, though some of these are in fact errors that slip through. Nonetheless, I do think that this is an important topic because these differences between the initial chapter and volume releases have at times caused confusion amongst the fanbase. And with a series as intricate and nuanced as One Piece, every detail counts. And it's certainly interesting to look at. And whilst there are plenty of these examples of these changes that have happened throughout the series, in this video we'll be focusing on the changes that were made in the volumes for our current Wano arc. The first detail we'll be looking at is the name of the Kazuki family. And it seems I've lied to you already because this chapter isn't actually a part of the Wano arc, but I thought I should include it anyways because it certainly does heavily relate to Wano. In any case, in chapter 816, it's interesting to note that the Kazuki family wasn't initially called Kazuki. When Kinemon introduced Introduces himself as a retainer, he actually calls himself the retainer of the Kugetsu family. However, in the following chapter, 817, the family's name was changed to Kazuki, which remained the family name for the rest of the series, and in the release of volume 81, chapter 816 was revised so that the name would remain consistent. It seems that the meaning of Kugetsu and Kazuki is very similar, essentially meaning the same thing as they both refer to a shining moon, with the initial Kugetsu translating to bright white moon, and now the name as we know it, Kazuki, translating to light moon. In fact, when written out in Japanese, these two names even share the same kanji characters. As far as I know, it isn't known why this name was changed, because unlike other changes we will discuss, there was no explanation provided by Oda or his editors. So maybe Kazuki just had a better ring to it. I mean, seeing as that's the name we're now familiar with, it's definitely the one I prefer. Especially when we know a Kotetsu in Wano, which sounds very similar to Kagetsu, and would have surely resulted in some mix-ups. Or maybe Oda has greater plans where there may be a nuance that will be revealed later, though I personally wasn't able to find any difference between Kagetsu and Kazuki, which could have a more meaningful significance in my research. But if you have a better understanding and knowledge of Japanese than I do and can enlighten the rest of us, please leave a comment below. Another volume release that was different from the initial chapter is that of Avalo Pizarro's role within the Blackbeard Pirates. During the intermission between Acts 1 and 2 in chapter 925, Pizarro's title stated him to be the captain of the second ship within the Blackbeard Pirates fleet. However, we had known Pizarro to be the captain of the fourth ship with that rank of the second ship's captain being known to be held by Shiryu. Well, this was corrected to be a slip up very soon after with the official One Piece Twitter account confirming Pizarro's status as still the captain of the fourth ship, not the second. And this rectification is the version you will find in the 92nd volume of One Piece. Pizarro isn't the only character whose status has raised some eyebrows, because we also saw this happen with Kobe in the second intermission between Acts 2 and 3 of Wano. In chapter 956, our once timid chore boy was introduced as a rear admiral within the Marines, which was very impressive considering that it was only in chapter 903 that we found out he'd been promoted to captain. However, this has been corrected since then with the 95th volume revising Kobe's ranks, introducing him as still a captain and not a rear admiral. An interesting detail, however, is that whilst this error was corrected for the prince of volume 95, the online copy available on Viz still states him as rear admiral, which is an important detail to have correct because progression and strength is a significant element for all character development, but especially Kobe's who was first introduced to us as, well, as in the words of Luffy, kinda clumsy and dumb, gutless too, really worthless. But throughout the series, we've seen him grow both physically and mentally, dedicated to keeping his promise to Luffy to one day rival the future Pirate King. And whilst power scaling isn't something I really engage in, this still was definitely surprising and confusing for me, as my perception of Kobe's strength and status really shot up after reading this chapter. Especially when we consider that this would mean that Kobe would join the ranks of Hina and even DS Drake, who was formerly a rear admiral before he went undercover as a pirate. Which would be then very confusing when we also take into account 
account that DS Drake is now Kobe's captain within Sword. So I'm sure that this misinformation still remaining in the Viz copy has, is, and will be confusing others who are not privy to this detail. So please do feel free to share this video widely. The next revision we'll be looking at concerns the timeline of events which took place at Wano. Apart from being the longest arc in the series history, Wano's events can get a bit confusing, especially when we take into account the time skip within the series, the flashback within Wano, and then time travel on top of that, which was a new phenomenon which Oda introduced us to in this arc, which we previously didn't even know was possible in the world of One Piece. Things got even more confusing in chapter 959, which is the chapter featuring the beginning of Odin's flashback, and in the initial chapter release, the flashback is narrated to have started 39 years ago. However, this was later rectified with Oda's team clarifying that Odin's flashback began 41 years ago and not 39 like the chapter said. This seems to be a miscalculation due to the two-year time skip after Marineford, where if we're calculating dates from the present day timeline, then Odin's flashback would have been 41 years ago from now, but 39 if we were thinking of the timeline when One Piece started. In any case, this rectification was made for the release of volume 95, but with volume 95 being the same volume containing the clarification of Kobe's status, it seems that the digital viz copy still hasn't gotten around to changing this yet, because 39 years ago is still the detail you will find when reading chapter 959 online. And I have to say, this clarification by the One Piece team is very welcome and appreciated on my part, because I myself have been very confused about putting these dates together reading the chapters on viz, because these dates simply don't match up, especially when we consider all the other years that are mentioned during the flashback and compare them to events in the present timeline. And I imagine that this means all the other dates that got mentioned during the flashback will have to be adjusted accordingly because in the Viz copy online of chapter 962, it also still says six years after that, a full 33 years before the present day. And this is obviously a reference to six years after the original mistake in 39 years, not the revised 41, because well, that's just how math or mats, as we say in the land down under, works. And then chapter 963, which states three years later, 30 years before the present date, should probably say 32 years. And I'm sure you get my drift for the rest of the flashback. Now, as far as I'm aware, there haven't been public updates every time a new chapter within the flashback continued with this incorrect timeline, but I imagine these were rectified when the volumes were released. But this certainly hasn't been corrected for the Viz copies online, and I don't yet own physical copies of the volumes to check for myself. So if you're someone who does have access, if you could please check your copy and then confirm this for us by leaving a comment below, that would be greatly appreciated. Now onto a change that wasn't an error and instead perfectly captures Oda's attention to detail, which relates to the Tobirapo page 1's design. And this isn't an example of something that was rectified in the volume release after its initial chapter, but I thought it would be nice to include this change in the video anyways, seeing as it is a change that has occurred during the Wano arc. Since its depiction in chapter 930, there was a noticeable change change in page 1's Zoan form, specifically that of his tail. Compared to the tube-like circular tails of most dinosaurs drawn in his initial design, in chapter 983, page 1's tail was flatter and fin-like. In SBS volume 97, Oda confirmed that he made this change to reflect some revelations that were made in real-life paleontology, where scientists discovered that the Spinosaurus, the model of page 1's ancient Zoan fruit, actually had a bone structure that allowed the dinosaur to swim. Oda noted that he thought he could sneak this update in. This is just one of the examples where we know Oda to be accurate in his portrayal of real-life inspirations, and I know I'm not the only one who appreciates this level of meticulous detail. And whilst yes, this video also touched on some genuine mistakes, this doesn't take away from the dedication Oda has shown throughout the over 20 years he's been providing us with the best story the world has ever known. Let me know what you think and whether I missed any changes by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share the video so that we can stop any continued confusions which may still exist as a result of these changes and please do subscribe for more One Piece content like this. You can also join the Joyfleet Discord server where you can discuss One Piece further as well as participate in fun activities with fellow One Piece fans. Thank you to our patrons who help support the channel and just letting you know that becoming a patron will also give you fun Discord perks and powers. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.